we're gonna clean out this carburetor. And uh, what you're gonna need to do is, there's four bolts. You gotta, of course, your linkage on both sides, on the sides here. You're gonna have a fuel inlet over here. It has to be undone. I'm just gonna do it over here. It's easier to get to. And then uh, your uh, crankcase vent right here. And your uh, air intake tube right here. So I'll take these off real quick and then we'll go slide the carburetor off. And hopefully it'll, it'll clear this right here. I've almost got it out, but I figured I'd get y'all in closer where you can see. You got a little flip down or a flip clip. I call it a flip clip that holds that on. I'm trying to get y'all where you can see. I don't know if you can see or not. Hopefully y'all can. And you just flip the clip up and then push it out. Same thing over here. And this one's got a spring on it. I'm gonna have to undo that spring real quick. No idea if y'all could see. Hopefully y'all could. Uh, let's see if I can get this spring undone. And flip that down. All right, I'll show y'all. Just in case y'all couldn't see there, I couldn't see the screen. So those things go in here, the rods, and then this comes in from the back side, I guess. And then this clips around the rod. So you just push that out of the way and then you can slide the rod out. Same over here with this one right here, that spring hooks on it. So you gotta unhook that spring, then flip this out of the way and pull the rod out. They're really not that difficult. And then I had to get a screwdriver and spin my clamp around. You really can't get to this clamp with it in there. That's why I just left the line attached to the fuel pump or undid it from the fuel pump and attached, left it attached to the carburetor. <laughs> Body of the carburetor is soaking in some chem dip some good stuff um, from what I've read I think the gunk stuff is not good but this stuff is still seems to be pretty good the um, I could not get this off I, I slimmed down a half inch wrench and I just didn't have a good feeling about it it looks like this thing is no good anyway because the plunger is not going all the way in there to shut that off so it doesn't look like it's looks like it's just gone um, I'm just gonna clean this out um, instead of soaking it since I can't get this off I don't want to soak this in kin dip chem dip so I'll clean this up and spray it with some carb cleaner um, and one thing I noticed taking this thing apart and I've not had this thing apart is that the um, there's a gasket right here and this gasket was on backwards so if you look at this you can see where it's supposed to seal up there. Well, it was this way. So somebody's been in here before me and they put that gasket on backwards. Now, when they did that, it smashed that gasket to pieces. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make that gasket work. I'm gonna try to see if I can get one. <laughs> got everything clean and I'm gonna be real careful with these gaskets and everything 
So I did find a, finally found a carb kit for it. It looks like it's about $26.99. And I guess I'm gonna go ahead and order it. I hate to do that because I can buy uh, uh, the cheapest carburetor I found was like 25 bucks. And, uh, but you know, with that you get $25 quality. And the carb kit I found actually is a Kawasaki car carb kit. So it should be good quality stuff. It doesn't include the float or anything. It's basically just gaskets and a needle, and that's it. I'm gonna take some time and go through all these little holes here and the two right there and spray some carb cleaner through them. And I like to use a, uh, this is a torch tip cleaner. Uh, that's what I use for cleaning jets and carburetors. They just have like all these different sizes and they're a little bit serrated. It works just, you know, be real careful. Don't, don't make the jet larger, but these work good just to go in there and uh, clean these things out. And I pretty much use it on any carburetor that I clean. And so, um, that's what I'm going to do. Go through, clean those out, blow, com you know, blow compressed air through all the, uh, holes here. Make sure these are all open, all that kind of stuff and just get this thing, you know, cleaned out. few days later and I ordered this this is actually for a FX 651 V I have a FX 641 V but just looking at the pictures at least this gasket looked the same and that's what I need and I could not find a carb kit for a 641 V now there may be one out there but I couldn't find it this is the part number I used and we'll see which gaskets are the same. So, um, or which O-rings, and we'll kind of go from there. So let me pull these out and we'll take a look at them. First signs are good. This gasket is the same. If we flip over, this gasket has a opening there, but if we check, the bore is a little bigger on the gasket and that just may be the way the gasket's made or maybe the carb that these are made for has a bigger throttle has bigger throttle plates i don't know one thing that's odd i don't know if i mentioned it is the throttle does not open all the way on this thing so we're all the way closed and that's as far as it'll open so i don't know if that's a restriction, I, I'm a, it's gotta be made that way. I, I've looked this thing all over and there's no way that's changed. Those screws have not been out. You can tell by looking at them. Um, so, I mean, it's gotta be made that way. It's not like the throttle plates were put on wrong or something like that. And if you look at this end, I mean, that's the idle speed and then it bottoms out there. You know, that's that's all the throttle you've got. And so, I don't know if maybe, maybe like a 651V uses the same carb, but has uh, more throttle opening. I don't know. But that's what it's made for, or that's what, it's not, it's made like that. It's not gonna go full throttle. It's just odd. If anyone has any experience with these, let me know if y'all have noticed that as well. But I mean, there's, I, I've been looking at this, trying to figure out if it was somehow on backwards or, you know, if you, but it, it just would not line up if it was any other way. 
So it's gotta be the way it goes. So that's the way it's made. All right, let's uh, check some of this other stuff. Couple bags, so we got that, got that. And so I'm, what I'm going through, that is correct. That's the gasket we wanted. Um, that is correct, which is that right there, which goes kind of inside of that. Um, I think that and that are the same. What I'm trying to make sure is, I'm looking for anything else. Um, we've got these two, I'm trying to figure out what those are, I'm trying to figure out what just what all this stuff is. Um, there's O-rings and stuff for the main jets, I think. So if you look, let's see, we've got, uh, a card, which is this paper. Uh, we've got a float valve. We've got a seal carburetor choke throttle shaft, which is right there. And then we've got a, a choke and throttle shaft. So both of those. Uh, we've got welch plugs and expansion plugs, all those, two of each. We've got a slow carburetor slow passage pipe is two O-rings. That's gonna be those two or those two. We're not gonna we're not gonna change that. We've got a carburetor main jet two, so that'll be so two of those are. So I'm guessing some of those and some of those. Uh, just to guess. Um, then carburetor spacer bottom with an O-ring, carburetor spacer top, one and two. Um, one's a gasket, one's an O-ring. I'm gonna say that they call that a gasket. And then there's the O-ring. That O-ring goes inside of there. And so I think all we need, if we're not gonna do, we're not gonna do throttle shafts. I'm not gonna pull these or these out. So I think we should be good. I just don't. I don't want to mess it up. They are, they are in there, and we are not gonna. We're not gonna mess with that. So let me um, go ahead. I'm gonna set up time lapse. We got this one in, and we're just gonna put this thing back together. Came with a gasket for this. Uh, it did get this thing out. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it back. I ordered a new one. This one is bad but it's not gonna be here for like a month. It's on a slow boat from China. Um, so I'm gonna put this one back for now, even though it's no good, it'll plug the hole up. And I'm not gonna put the new gasket on here. I'm gonna just leave that one on there and we'll put the new gasket on the new one when it arrives. I'm not sure if the new one comes with the gasket or not. So we'll save, this one looks pretty good. So, and then we, we did put the bowl in the carb cleaner. So. I'm gonna get all this back together. It did not come with this gasket. We're gonna put that back together. That gasket's still in good shape. So we should be fine there. And we'll set these aside. Um, but yeah, uh, I think this kit was $26. I mean, it, it comes with a lot. I mean, it comes with all the plugs and I mean, I'm not digging that far into this thing. Um, yeah, there's one right there. I mean, you could really overhaul this thing with this thing. I just don't know why it can't, did not come with that top piece unless maybe they changed the carb designs and, you know, this one doesn't have it. Uh, and that's the difference between a 641 and a 651. No idea. But for what we needed, we got what we needed. And, oh, the this gasket is correct as well. So... Let me get this thing back together. When you get ready to go back together with this thing, just keep in mind you've got a plastic spacer between the engine and the carburetor right here. So there's a gasket behind it. And then our gasket we came with 
is not cut out right there, but that's fine. So just slip this on here. It's not going to hurt anything. And then we can slip our carburetor on. Again, this side goes up against the engine. And before I get it all the way up in there, I'm going to go ahead and attach my fuel line because that's kind of a stretch. It's hard to get the clamp on it. down. It'll clear that better. There we go. I had slipped off the upper one too, so we'll slip that back on real quick. That is slipped on there. Before I get all this on here, I'm going to slip these uh, uh, throttle linkage on here. And this one kind of showed how it came off. But you're going to have to slip it in there, then slip that spring up on there. And it is just impossible to get in here and be able to see and film. This linkage here slips in from the back. This is for the choke. So we're going to slip that in there. I'm trying not to block the view. Alright, it's slipped in there. And we're going to push our little clip. Let's see. Our clip was on the wrong side of it. block it too bad. Clip on. It is just impossible to get in here where y'all can see and try to do this. Because I cannot see. Look at that. Flip this down. I can't see it. Okay. I'm going to take this little pick and try to get in here and hook this spring. Look at that hooked up. Okay, now we've got our intake tube and our gasket. And there's no adjustments on this carburetor. No idle mixture, no high speed mixture, no nothing. So it just, it is what it is. And we've got two bolts and two nuts. So I'm just going to tighten these down real quick. Hook up our 
our crankcase vent tube. And our air intake tube. And I'll take this one just like this. And I'll tighten down the upper one. And we will check and make sure those are good. Our gas lines are tight. And I think we are in good shape. All our clamps are on. Oh, I'm gonna plug this in. Even though this one doesn't work. Well, I'm going to leave it unplugged. We know that one doesn't work, but if yours works, make sure to plug it in. And then I'll take this one off and uh, plug the new one up when it comes in. So, that's it. Carburetor is cleaned out and new O-rings and gaskets. So, should run much better. One of the high-speed jets, when I was cleaning it out, one of them was plugged up. So I know, I know that's what was causing it to kind of run bad. It idled great, but it uh, definitely it ran pretty good until you put a load on it. Uh, when you engaged the mower deck, you could tell it was kind of down on power. So this should take care of that. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. Hit the like button and subscribe for more.